Slowly, the shadows of the forest grew as the sun descended. James knew that they'd be stopping soon to set up camp. But something he noticed was how many of the animals were gone. There were still some animals, but it was significantly less than what it was before. Before he was going to say anything, Selene could be seen making her way back. Compared to the past couple of days, she was joining the group much earlier than usual. Hold up, Mim said. Stopping, James turned towards Mim. He noticed that the older adventurer didn't find Selene coming back early to be a positive sign. There was a hint of apprehension on the cat person's face, his tail reflecting his mood. Why did you come back so early? Raul asked his half-sister. Selene didn't slow down, instead maintaining her pace to reach them sooner. Stopping in front of them, she said, There's something strange about the forest right now. They looked at her as though asking for more information. Shaking her head, Selene said, I don't know how to describe it. Turning her head as though searching for something, the elf paused before pointing at the nearest forest animals. That. James looked at the animal that Selene was pointing towards. Notice something? Selene looked at them. I mean, there are fewer animals, but the fact that the deer is still hanging around means that we're still safe, Kate said in a hesitant voice, not sounding sure what Selene was suggesting by the question. James felt himself nodding, but he suspected Selene was thinking about something completely different. But he held off on asking sensing that the elf was getting close to making a point. Don't you get a strange feeling seeing that deer by itself in an area that's filled with monsters? Selene asked. Hearing Selene, James couldn't help but feel that something was bubbling up from inside of Selene. Just as she was asking them, it was as if she was also trying to convince herself that there was nothing unusual about the deer. The deer looked at them before prancing away in search of more food somewhere in the forest. Do you think it sensed monsters nearby? Adam asked, gripping his weapon in both hands. Naylor on the other side was also alert. Once the deer was out of sight, Selene breathed a sigh of relief, like she was bottling up stress from just the presence of the animal. Raul furrowed his brow and moved close. Reaching out and laying a hand on his half-sister's shoulder, Selene flinched in surprise. Her head whipped towards what had touched her. James noticed that Selene's hands reached beneath her cloak. She was reaching for a weapon, he thought to himself. Turning his head slowly, he wondered if the others noticed what Selene almost did in response to her half-brother making contact with her when his hand touched her. Only Mim was looking at Selene's hands instead of her face before his eyes flickered to meet James's eyes. The cat person then made a subtle shake of his head before returning his attention to Selene. Are you okay? Raul asked. His brows were raised in surprise at the reaction he received. Shakily, Selene nodded. Yeah. I guess I just spooked myself when I was scouting. The weird atmosphere of this place just got to me. She tried waving away any concern directed towards her. Raul moved his hand from Selene's shoulder. He nodded understandingly, but his eyes revealed that he didn't believe a word. James also had a difficult time believing Selene's words. The elf was not only someone that was significantly stronger than him, with a higher level, but also vastly more experienced than he was as an adventurer. It would be unusual for her to encounter something that shook her as much as the deer did. This was on top of them not being anywhere close to the furthest point that adventurers had reached in the forest. This meant that anything they encountered would be relatively common. But something about the deer 